Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, today we're going to talk about your boy, King Lil J. Um, it's like a little series of his Say Cheese interview that's been going on out there and flowing around. You know, your boy Sean Kai, and shout out to Sean Kai and his Say Cheese. Um, He's been releasing small clips, you know, periodically throughout the days. And it's getting interesting. Um, at this, <clears throat> excuse me. At this point, we up to the part to where he's saying that King Vaughn is pretty much scared of him, or was scared of him, and King Vaughn was pretty much a shorty, and saying that Ki would have, you know, pretty much drilled King Vaughn. Now, the part to where I think people got the whole story misconstrued is this. Um, let's be clear. When King Vaughn and Ki was going back and forth on Twitter back in the day. I don't think King Von really was trying to make that his girlfriend or get something out of her, get some, you know, let's be real. He was just being King Von, being funny, you know, on Twitter. And to say that K.I. would have did X, Y, and Z to him, first and foremost, if you remember, K.I. actually got caught on a train by King Von and a couple others, and they actually had jumped up. That's a known fact, you know, that pretty much really um happened so to say if she would have seen him she would have did x y and z is kind of uh, that kind of threw me a little off and another thing that threw me off um was the part the way he said king Vaughn was scared of him you know um we don't know that um knowing king Vaughn's character <laughs> i don't think that was the case however you know dudes are gonna say whatever they want to say now also let's clear this up real quick too it sounded kind of weird but let's break this down. He said King Vaughn was his shorty, and he explained that he was hanging with King Vaughn since Vaughn was Killer Ward. Now, if you're confused by any of this, and when he said that Vaughn was Killer Ward, he used to hang with him, and you sit in there being like, well, ain't they ops? How they hang with each other? Well, before your boy King Vaughn pretty much was old block and hang with old block and all that, King Vaughn was Killer Ward. Now, the separation came when he used to actually hang with Duck and him. But they felt that Vaughn was playing both sides, so he got caught at a bus stop. You know, they pretty much did what they had to do to Vaughn. All right? Now, this was before all the killing. Notice I said they beat him up, you know, jumped him or whatever the case may be. So, it was no gunplay, none of that involved. Now, ever since then, Vaughn chose his side completely and remained on Old Block 64th, and it's been on ever since. All right? Now, when he called Vaughn, like, his shorty, you look in the comments, you see people, you know, do the um Lil J's allegations in the county, they trying to sit there and make it seem like it was something zesty. All right, let's clear something up right now. First and foremost, it's disrespectful to Vaughn. So if you got any type of love for Vaughn or support his music or whatever for Vaughn, for you to even think something weird like that involving Vaughn and this man, that's weird on your behalf. All right. Now, when he said Vaughn was his little shorty, he pretty much he tried to son him. He trying to say that Lou, like Vaughn was his little his little homie. All right. Trying to say before you know all the fame or whatever, Vaughn was pretty much his little homie. And I see that people sitting there trying to correlate the name King Vaughn with King Lil J and say that King Vaughn pretty much got the name from King Lil J. But a lot of us already know that that's false. The King part in King Vaughn's name um, came from his admiration and, you know, his respect for King David, a.k.a. David Boxdale. All right. That's where all that come from. So that dead that that he got that King part from King Lil J. That's not what it is. It's a whole nother backstory behind that name. And if you know, you know, I don't, I don't want to get into it. That's too long. But anyway. And this is why a lot of times, this is why I tell y'all, speaking on the dead and all that dissing the dead is kind of weak because it's unfair. And the person that's dissing on the dead, they get to run and spin narratives around to their benefit. You know, and like I said, it's unfair because you never get to hear both sides of the story. You just get to hear one part and one side. And a lot of people, they'll believe that, you know, like without any proof, any backing, any anything. They'll sit there and believe the person that's saying whatever they're saying because the person that's dead, they can't talk, they can't defend themselves. So like I said, it's unfair, man. But at the end of the day, to each his own, that's the drill culture. Uh, it's been going on for years, and that's what it is. But I just wanted to speak on this little clip, you know, with um, uh, Lil J saying that King Vaughn was scared of him, saying that K.I. 
would have killed them, drilled them, or whatever the case may be. Um, I feel that I think that in these interviews, Lil J, being that he just was released, he's able to release a lot of things that he was holding back. All right, I feel that he got a lot of animosity built up. You could tell when he's answering certain questions, his reaction is like a little more aggressive to certain questions, and rightfully so, man. While he was locked up, in a way. It was a lot of things going on. It was a lot of people playing on his name. It was a lot of people saying certain things, and he wasn't able to defend himself. It's almost like speaking on the dead. All right, you see, like you see how that correlates with each other. He's not able to say anything that he wants to say because he's behind bars. But people are out here in the county. I mean, out, out in the county. People are out in the free world saying whatever they want to say, and he can't defend himself. Now, um. He also said that the rumor of him doing whatever he was doing in the county with the trans woman, uh, he said that that was started pretty much by FBG Butter. And he said that the reason he started it was because he know what he did. He knew that he told, he knew that he pretty much testified to get a lighter sentence. And he tried to come out and spin this narrative and call him this and that and just to hide what he did. Now, none of us really know if that's the truth or not. Like I said, I never really ran with that with with that county story that he really is messing with a tranny because I wasn't there and I don't know. And at the end of the day, your ops is always gonna say whatever they want to say, man. They go, you know, it, it's your ops, so it's definitely expected. But um, I don't know, man. When it comes to your boy King Lil J, I just hope he focus on his music. Um, it seemed like he got a little buzz going right now. He got everybody trying to hit him for an interview. I'm pretty sure he got a little check for that Say Cheese interview. Shout out to Sean Cotton for the interview, period. And, um, yeah, man, I hope you just focus. Leave the ops alone. Focus on your music for now. And, you know, because he gives me this he gives me this feeling, man, that he, he might crash out. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Every time you see him, it don't seem like that, that time bother him at all. It seemed like he's still on that same time. He still like he fit. He looked like he's stuck in 2012. I could be wrong. That's just the impression he gives me. He came straight out. Um, he we, he started dissing people off the rip. But then again, I'm 50 50 with it because, like I said, man, I know that he's in a, a weird position, being that all these allegations were against him. Uh, you guys ops talking about him every chance they get. So it's like. Do you fight back or you just stay in the corner? You know, it, it just is what it is. So let's see what comes out of this. Like I said, I hope you focus up on his music. Um, don't be another Mimo. <laughs> don't go out like Mimo, man. Um, Mimo still got a chance, but it seems like Mimo just wanna he just wanna keep talking about his ops all day. Anyway, like I said, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this, man. Do y'all think what King Lil J is saying about King Von right? Do y'all think King Von was scared of him? Do you think uh King Von was his little shorty? Once again, to clear everything up in the rumors, he didn't mean it in a zesty uh, way. He just meant that King Vaughn was his little homie. He tried to little homie him. I mean, like he his son. That's all that was. All that other weird stuff, cut it out. All right? Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.